welcome to another Mario Party 3 mini game review. Raise your hand if you've ever fallen down on the ice rink before. Okay, you can put them down. I can't see your hands. But did you know that that isn't the only risk you run by being on an ice rink? For instance, sometimes some rogue spiked Koopa shells might make their way onto the rink. And that brings us sliding into today's free for all mini game Ice Rink Risk. Your only goal here is to be the last one standing by avoiding the spiked Koopa shells. Last the longest, and you'll win. Just don't slip up or you'll leave with nothing. Well, I think it's safe to say that we both had a pretty good time with this one. Yeah, it was a risky game, but man was it fun. Yeah, it really was, especially the longer it went on. They would keep adding more spiked Koopa shells, which just made it harder and harder to survive and really up the intensity of it. Yeah, I really liked that. In the beginning, it could be kind of easy to not even have to move to avoid them, but as soon as there was two and then three shells added, it was really intense. One thing I do want to say is that at the beginning when the first one falls down, it always falls in a random spot, and I think it happened more than once where at least one person was just immediately out of the game because it fell on their head before you even know that the game is starting. Yeah, that was a little unfair, but it was just bad luck, I think. It would have been nice if it just fell in the middle. Yeah, I don't know why they didn't do that, actually. Me either, but it was still a lot of fun. It reminds me of Bombs Away from the first two Mario parties where you just have a little slice of land and you're just trying to maneuver out of the way of enemies. Yeah, I like that style of minigame. It makes it fun and a little chaotic. Yeah, so overall, this was a pretty great one. We both had a good time with it and there's not much bad to say about it. It is a little annoying that at the beginning of the minigame, you never know where the spike Koopa shell will fall, and sometimes it does just fall on your head before you even have a chance to play. But other than that, it's pretty good. It's a lot like Bombs Away if you've ever played those, but I also don't think it quite reaches that same level of intensity and fun that those ones do. That's not to say this is bad though, so we're still giving it 4 stars out of 5. Yeah, I'd be happy to play this minigame when it popped up. Well, that's all we have for you today. If you enjoyed the video, please like, subscribe, and hit the bell. Next up, we'll be reviewing Locked Out. I guess I'm not the only one that forgets my keys sometimes. <laughs> Hopefully Luigi has a spare. <laughs> well, come back for more great jokes next time. Hope, Hope to, to see, see you then. then.